All right, guys, welcome to the Health Huddle. It's the healthiest day of the week. It's Monday. Uh, my name is Brad Miller, and I am uh, one of the hosts of this call. We like to have fun. We like to start our week off on the right foot. And if you are new, we want to welcome you. Um, this is something we do every single week because building habits is really one of the most important thing of health. So we just cover topics. We do celebrations. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. And it's all designed to support you as you, you know, move forward in your health, dominate different areas, that, things you're working on, uh, and just moving to the next level. So we like to say your optimal health begins every single week. And you know, really the more often you can come back to setting this up is the better you'll be doing on your health. So you know, we just finished up a five-week challenge where we covered some really cool habits that can, you can implement into your lives. And I'm still hearing people talking about their takeaways from that. I've just been loving it. Uh, but we did a call last week where we just shared some stories and we talked about how do we look at our health long term and step into that health. And we thought it'd be fun this week just to basically just go over some tips on some things. I asked a few people what has been really massively successful for their health and things they have implemented. So we came up with six tips, uh, top six tips for a killer healthy week to start off our week on purpose and to remind us of some of the basic stuff here. So these are the six we came up with. And I'm just going to turn it over to a few of our awesome people here and uh, just let them share how this their tip that they came up with has been really important to them. So first, I'm actually going to turn it over to Tracy Johnson, who has an awesome health story. And she just is really passionate about being plugged in, which you guys are all doing here right now. Some of you might be watching the recording. And that tip would probably include tuning in with us live next week if you can. But I'm not going to steal any of Tracy's thunder. Tracy, can you share with us the tip this week as we go to this week on plugging in and uh, what you have for people on that? Sure, thanks. I'm really happy to be able to share. So yeah, plugging in is actually kind of a huge thing for me. Um, I fought it at first. I used to try and do everything on my own and uh, didn't want to bug anybody. So uh, plugging in has been great. It's given me accountability, shows that I expect success and I'm not trying to hide and, you know, like, oh, what if I fail? So expecting success, getting out there with accountability, um, getting fun and creative ideas and, you know, really finding out that um, I'm not alone in, you know, in any of my struggles. Um, I've made some awesome, awesome friends. And, you know, when I thought I was bugging people before, what I found is it feels really great to give support as well as receive support. So now I know I'm not bugging people. I'm letting them feel great by supporting me and, um, and really getting that, that satisfaction. So, um, you know, and then getting out of my own head. Um, you're getting a different perspective from people and uh, just really enjoying that and making a lot of great friends in the process. So that's my tip with plugging in. Plugging in. I love it. We have the Facebook group. You have your health coach. You know, you are like the five people you surround yourself most. We have these calls. And I love that you said that because this is why we learn so much from each other. I think everyone's been there like, oh, I've just been trying to do it on my own. We usually fight all of these tips that we are about to get anyway. So um, I love that it's been huge for you. It's been huge for me. And, and thank you for sharing the tip, which also leads into the next part, which is part of plugging in is healthy relationships. And uh, I thought Shane LaBelle would uh, share something with me on that because I have to agree. He picked this topic and this is one of the ones that I have to say is pretty important to me as well. So Shane, what do you got on healthy relationships as we jump in to this week and being mindful of healthy relationships? Thank you, Brad. Um, I, I guess Dr. A has studies show Dr. A shared with us that studies show that when we connect with other people, we're, we're healthier. Um, it helps our journey. Um, and it, I guess being mindful about our relationships, um, five years ago when I started take shape, that was one of the reasons, um, I wanted to get involved was I saw Susan connecting with, um, her old friends, her past friends, she was making new friends. Um, and I really didn't have a whole lot of friends at the time. Um, and now, like five years later, it's taken intentionality. So I encourage all of you, like on the call, um, reach out to somebody. Say hi to somebody in um, Starbucks line. Buy the person behind you a coffee. Um, you know, just make someone's day. And, and be intentional about the relationships that are right around you with, you know, your wife or your kids or, you know, your, your, the people that you work with, your best friends. So, and reach out, uh, Craig Blanchett, 
said one of the things that he's working on is he's being intentional about reaching out. So one of the things he did earlier this year was reach out um, and we went and had coffee. So um, Brad, I, I, do you have anything else or? I think you pretty much nailed it. I, I lo- just a reminder of it because you don't even think of it as you start a week, but to remind yourself of one, putting yourself around healthy people because you are like the five people you surround yourself with, seeking out healthy relationships. And also think about any time you've probably been off of your health game or been distracted or been hard, has it probably been because of some stress in your life, maybe stressful relationships? So just being mindful to improve that. And I do am thankful for that. Like as far as this crew, like, dude, you are really good. Or you're one of my really good friends and I'm, you're part of my healthy community too. So seek out those healthy relationships. Seek out to make the relationships you do have healthier. And if they aren't serving you and they aren't serving your health journey, because health isn't just your mind, although some bad relationships can kind of start to affect your healthy routine, but it also is your, your healthy mind. And you know, those are the people you surround yourself with. So Shane, I think that's the first thing you gravitated for, you know, in your health journey. And it is a good reminder to have. So I'm glad you hit on that today. So thank you very much. Thanks, Brad. All right. And then since we all did have life coming up, another thing, cause maybe you guys are going into a tough week. We do have, um, you know, um, uh, many of us have spring break coming up with the kiddos, just planning ahead. This is, this is vital every single week, but even as we go into weeks where there's, you know, uh, all, all these different things going on. So I'm actually going to call on Jerry who is going to share a little bit about the tip of planning ahead and creating success. So Jerry, what do you got for us? Let me see if I need to unmute you. So I can find Jerry you there. You're yeah, unmuted. Know. You're unmuted now. Go for it. Okay. Well, I started uh, this program on the 29th of December and uh, I had my why clearly in front of me, why I'm doing this and what I want and um, had so much success early on that um, I knew this trip was coming up for us. Uh, by the way, I'm in Maui, everybody. I'm sorry. but <laughs> I'm here with my husband and we are having a wonderful time, but I knew this trip was coming up. We were going to be gone for a couple of weeks. So um, this was not going to trip me up. Um, I had such great success um, up to the day we got on the plane. I uh, purposely planned to take um, a carry-on piece of luggage and I put all of my food in it. I ordered ahead to make sure I had enough for the days I'd be gone. I planned out my meals. I put them in there. I put some extras in just in case I needed it or something happened and that suitcase did not leave my side. It went through security with me. It went in the airplane with me and I I didn't let go of it. Um, It was my lifeline uh, to stay towards my goal. And so we've been here now since Friday. Um, I have my food every morning. I'm up. We're out walking on the beach every morning, and it feels so good. Um, There's a restaurant that we are going to, one of our favorites, um, on um, Wednesday this week. But, you know, the the menus are so easy to look at online. Plan ahead. You can always get a salad, and you can always get something lean. So it's it's pretty easy. Um, And I'm just feeling very... uh, motivated I'm feeling very accomplished and I'm so excited that I didn't just say well I'm going on vacation and I'm just gonna eat I'm going to go ahead and go back to that old habit that I've been working on replacing with new habits so that's the important thing is just replacing those old habits with the new ones and just because you go on vacation doesn't mean you cannot um, keep on keeping on on your program I love it Jerry this is such a good tip and you're such a good example of it and yeah, enjoy Hawaii, you, you lucky dog. Yeah, you said that you're having fun. <laughs> but I, I, the two quotes came to mind when you said that is if you prepare for success, yeah. anything is possible. And it does take as much effort to wish for success as it does to plan for success. So just classic example that, you know, that's why I usually choose Sunday as my kind of regroup day plan for the day. That's why we have our health huddle on Monday. You're a prime example of it and always just being clear on what you want to do. Building on last week's topic, because if you are looking at yourself in the future of what you want to create, well, all the obstacles like planning ahead just become that much easier. So I honestly think that's probably one of the best topics we can cover today. So as you're starting off your week, planning ahead, do you have your week planned out? And as you just like eating every two to three hours might have been new for you, if you get the habit of planning ahead, it's one of the most important habits for your health you can adopt. So Jerry, great tip and have fun while you're out there soaking up the sun. (laughs) 
<laughs> All right, which actually leads me to your health coach. Uh, Dawn was going to share just a little reminder and fun on tracking and documenting meals. Absolutely, Brad. Well, hi, everyone. Excited that you're with us. Um, dang, I'm loving all these tips. So building on what Jerry just said in planning ahead, and actually, Brad, what we've been talking about, especially last week, was leading from where we want to go. One of those basic foundations of health is really bringing in those new habits. And one of those habits, because I've been on my health journey now for the past five years, tracking and documenting our, our food. And so one of the things that is fueling our bodies, right? So I lost my weight five years ago, 45 pounds in 12 weeks, thanks. And, and it's been a fun journey ever since and learning every day. Um, but one of the things that has, was so helpful for me in the beginning as I was getting started and even now is that I eat every two and a half to three hours, no matter what, you know? And now it is such a habit of health. It's ingrained in who I am that you, every two and a half hours, I'm literally reaching for something. So I don't necessarily have to track every day now, but boy, in the beginning, I use the tools that we have. And so really, whether you're a paper and pencil person or you like the techie apps, um, I kind of and more paper and pencil. I'll just put that out there. But I love this five in one food journal. It's amazing. And for the first several um, weeks, and even in the first couple months that I was on my health journey, I used you know something like this every day. And it's so helpful to just keep that you know keep that in mind. Write it down because what you plan, what you track, what you do becomes your habits that will serve you for long term. So five years down the road, it's now a habit of health that's never going to go anywhere. I love it. And actually, that's a really good tip. You got paper or electronic. I actually like, you know, I, I feel pretty confident in my habits I've built, Don, but I actually started using the Habits of Health dashboard app. I had a good reminder. This is again why community is huge. One of my clients reminded me about it and I was like, oh, great. I'm back from Washington, D.C. I'm going to start using that again. It's just a good reminder to look at what you're actually doing each day. You learn so much about what you do each day. You know, make sure you're learning from every single day and make sure you're tracking yourself and keeping yourself accountable. I think it's fun. I'm a dork like that, but I like to kind of compete and like, wow, look at all this stuff that I'm, I'm actually doing. So documenting and tracking, even if you're just like six weeks in and you don't even find much value in it, just pull out a tracker one day, see what in a day actually looks like when you're, when you're actually tracking it, you learn a lot from it. So I love that tip. And then uh, last two tips that we kind of round this off is next one is consistency with healthy motion and we've got our resident health guru awesome girl abby who's going to share because she's really been approaching her next style or her next level of her healthy motion and she's been doing it really well i think you're on day four of consistent motion abby is that right let me see real quick are you there abby there we go um today is actually day five. Oh, i'm sorry no 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 that's fine um I, my days are a little weird for the rest of the world because I also work nights as a nurse. And so sometimes my day comes the night before and the morning after and it counts as two. Um, but I've learned so much about being in the right place to begin to have the consistent healthy motion. Because when my body was 55 pounds heavier than what it is now, doing any kind of motion other than getting off of my couch wasn't fun. And so now I love it. It gave me a reason to go out and do some shopping, which as a girl, I love being able to do, but it gave me a chance to be, I don't know, like excited to get back into the gym, which when I talked with my coaches in the beginning with Dawn and with Christina about why I wanted to do the program, it was because I wanted to be able to run again. And now I can. And so staying plugged in with them and even having a call with you about, okay, I think I'm there. I think I'm happy with the scale. I'm happy with how I feel in my body. I want to get to some of those bigger non-scale goals and I'm doing it. And it's been amazing because I've stayed plugged in. I built healthy relationships. I've planned ahead. Every purse, bag, and locker that I have access to has food in it for me. So I'm never without healthy fuel. And the tracking and documenting, I'm definitely not the pen and paper kind of person, but I have the Fitbit app that's on my phone. And I've been tracking my stuff since a year ago when I started. And now it's already in a habit and my Fitbit stays on my arm most of the time. And it's been amazing now to see once my body has been in this healthy place where the weight is under control and being able to get in a healthy motion, how fast those steps go up when you're running on the treadmill, even if it's for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. I don't have much time. I just had to work a 12 hour shift and then I have to get in a quick workout at the gym and then I got to go home and be mommy and then crash for a nap before I go back to work. 
it's made it important to me and the way that I feel. And it's not been, okay, well now I'm exercising and I can do whatever I want because my body doesn't want that. I got into such a habit of eating every couple of hours, tracking everything that I eat, planning ahead to make sure that I have food. I don't leave the gym hungry and going, oh man, should I get one of those giant peanut butter banana shakes? No, no, no. I have meal replacements in my car. I have them in my gym bag. So I'm already prepared. And now I've transitioned into like a four and two or a three and three program, kind of depending on how many hours I've just worked, because that's part of what my coaches taught me is that you have to feel your body as long as you're awake. And sometimes I'm a vampire and sometimes I'm not. And so I have to keep eating, you know, depending on my, my hours that I'm awake, but, um, it's been fantastic and I love it. And it feels so good to see more than just the clothes fitting and the number on the scale going down. But seeing those goals that I talked about a year ago, like right in front of me in numbers on a treadmill instead of numbers on a scale. Uh, I love it. And one thing I love about this, and this is a reminder going into this week, is that if you're moving forward on your health, it's almost impossible to go backwards. So I love that. And like you referenced multiple times, I've got all these other things going really well. So your workouts are set up for success because, you know, like we joke about, abs are made in the kitchen. So it's really about like the rest of the habits you have implemented. And I like the way you said, I'm getting them in and I'm being consistent because everyone likes to talk about that one killer workout they did, that one killer workout, that one time. So, yeah. but, and they're already to that time of year where the gym is getting empty. So it's about consistency. So I like that you're finding pockets of time because it's consistency that adds that in over time. So you're finding, so again, I guess the reminder this week that I, I, I hear from you is stay with the basics maybe look at healthy motion or stay consistent with it. Find something that's going to work for you that you can stay consistent with. It's not about length or time or killing yourself. It's about consistency over time, which really leads us to our last topic. And I called on a really special friend of mine for this one. It's really just about staying consistent overall where, you know, really, you know, I'll, I'll just break it down. In, in short, we're all getting out of diet mentality. Everyone diets. And we're changing a way that we eat for life. So as you start this week, just remembering that health is the goal and that staying consistent and really committing to always being better on all of these things and always picking something to work on. So I'm, I'm actually going to have Susie Henshaw kind of wrap up this call because she's just been really killing her health journey. And, and I'm not going to take anything. I'm just going to turn it over to her. So Susie, are you there? I am. All right. We'll drop some knowledge <laughs> bombs on everyone as we kick off this week. All right. Well, thanks. So, um, I guess mine looks a little bit different than, um, I mean, we all, honestly, all of these tips are amazing. And I definitely utilize every single one of them every day, which kind of leads me to my point of being consistent. I did not used to be that way. Six years ago, I lost 48 pounds in 16 weeks. It flew off, which we all know when we do the five and one, it comes right off of you. And I was pretty much 100% on the program. And then I got pregnant. And um, it was a couple years later and it all came back and life changed. So in that time, I, from, from the time that I started program to where I was when, um, after, you know, when I had cadence, I was in a completely different mind space um, of where I, I was just living a healthy life. So yes, I gained weight when I got pregnant, but my lifestyle had changed so dramatically that it was just about con con continuing on with that. So, you know, I, it hasn't been perfect the last two years. I haven't been perfect, but that's not what it's about. It's about the fact that I've been consistent throughout the whole time and really moving forward. And my health has completely changed from where I was to where I am now. And um, I mean, even to the point of where I actually think of all of these different things every single day and tips and all of that. So, um, you know, the main point is, is being consistent and constantly moving towards health and not letting a program or something like that or whatever. Um, oh gosh, I don't want to, it's like, you don't want to, um, feel held down, but you're not, you're not held down. You are actually more free to fly and be you and get healthy and move forward. It's not about being 100%. It's about having the mindset of being healthy. And I'm encouraging you all to really stick to your program because that we all know that is what's going to get you to where you want to be. But when life happens and when, you know, the poop hits the fan, know that this program is here for you. You bounce right back and you just keep going. 
and it's no big deal. You brush off your shoulders and you keep moving forward. And that's what it's been about for me for the last six years. It's been about the entire journey of learning and constantly being better every single day and really pushing myself towards being better. Sorry, I had to unmute myself for a quick. Susie, such a good reminder. And I love because we learn the most from people that have spent the most time experiencing things. You know, we've got healthy in the, or in the beginning together. And it's really more like, you know, standing here six years uh, from where you were now or where when you got started, it wasn't one week of perfection that made the difference. It was really what you leaned on overall. I mean, and I've seen your health blossom in all areas, not just your healthy body. But if it's more about just leaning on our program, sticking, sticking to this, knowing that this is your foundation for a healthy lifestyle. And as long as you keep moving forward on this, it's not about perfection. It's about how many, how many days you keep moving forward and just being better than you were the day before. So yep. not, not an encouragement to say, hey, take a day off. We, we want to encourage you guys all to like literally step it up this week. Whatever you've been doing, give it 110% more this week. It always feels good to push yourself. It never fe You never regret stepping up your game plan. But just remembering, Susie, I don't know. I couldn't put it any better. I just loved what you shared. And just, you know, everything in your life has gotten better because of just staying consistent. So right. can I add one more thing really quick? Please do. As we I was just going to say, um, let's see, mommy brain. I just lost my train of thought. It's, um, yeah! <laughs> I lost it. It's okay. You know what? Well, we'll have, we'll have a terrific encore next week, but it's not about, it's not about perfection. It's about, it's about being better than the person you were yesterday and moving yes. forward. Health is the goal. And Susie, I think that's the best way to cap this off this week. So as we, as we wrap up, just remembering that it takes time to build a habit. You're not going to get there overnight. Celebrate every single victory. Push yourself forward. Step outside your comfort zone. It always feels good to be an accomplishment of something. But just a reminder as you start off this week, I think we have some really good places to jump in. We probably touched on everybody's possibilities of something to grab onto. What things do you want to improve on this week that, that kind of stood out to you? Because you gravitate towards it and you grab onto it and you improve it and it gets better and better and better. And health is really about how many habits good habits you improve in your life and cement in over time. So with that being said, great tips. Love the chat. It blew up. Lots of great tips of everything that of people changing their health. This will be recorded. So the people that uh, want to catch the recording, hopefully enjoy it as well. And for those that have already chosen to pay it forward, like have talked about that, that section of their health journey, we have a health call with our medical director here in about five minutes. So we'll see you guys all on there. But besides that, everyone else, you guys have a great week. Step it up. Push yourself, pick something to excel in this week and get better every single day. Talk to you guys later. Great tips, everybody. I love them. Thank you, Brad.